your father, the man you were raised with, yes, sir. everything's great. And then he gets a call. And when you picked up, when he picked up that call, what, what was said? Um, so he called me and he said uh, that he had doubts about me being his child. Now, this is my father, I believe wholeheartedly, the only father I know for 26 years, mm -hmm. you know, been there since birth and before. Yes. He said that he went out with a friend for drinks and that they told him that I was not his child and that he wanted a DNA test. I just felt betrayed, yes. heartbroken. Um, it was very devastating. Like I said, this is the only guy that I know to be my father, the only father that I know 26 years. And I feel like he should have defended me. He should have stood up for me, you know? Yeah, like, why are you letting a rumor ruin our family? Exactly. Makes sense you know? to me. Definitely letting a rumor uh, ruin our family. And before, I've had heard some rumors in the past um, from the same group of people that he went out with. I just felt like it was jealousy towards my mom. Um, because my, my mom and my dad were together, they were in a relationship, and then up until I was about six, they split, got and it. that's when the rumors start coming. So well, how old were you at the time that you got this call from your dad? That I got this phone call, I was 23. So this is only three years ago? So yes, this sir, is recent. 2020, wow, July okay, 7th. Uh, my producer told me that some of these rumors might have been based on your complexion? Yes, so <laughs> my father, he is a very uh, yellow man, he's light-skinned, and a lot of the, a lot of his children, there's like half of, so four of us are dark skin, my complexion, and then four of us, four of them are light skin, like his complexion. Uh -huh. And so the first one that I heard that there was doubt about was my little sister. She's the same complexion as me. Um, I was about 11 when I heard my grandma saying, that's not my grandbaby, you know, um, she, she don't look like me, she too dark skin. So instantly, I never heard my grandma say anything about me not being his, but when I heard that, it made me feel like, okay, that's that's what a doubt is because I'm dark skinned. You know, I'm sorry, you guys. No, but it's so like, cool. you know, I'm dark skinned, thank you. So that's why I feel like he was uh doubting me. I felt like if I was maybe high yellow or his complexion, I probably would be more accepted. Mm. Come on, um, black folks, we gotta do better than that with this. Um, it's a narrative I'm just so tired of. Right? It's Absolutely. Like, it's like, uh, I don't know how often we gotta keep saying to each other, we come in all different shades and complexions and I don't know why we keep putting this, create this narrative that came from, we know the system it came from, slavery and from you know, right. the suppression and then we just keep putting it on each other and I'm so sorry you had to deal with that. How did your father treat you as an adult though once he said this at 23? He treated me well. It just, once that conversation happened, I kind of took a step. You know, yeah. we talk every day, we hang out every day. We were very close. So this was, this was like shocking, unusual. You know, mm -hmm. I, I really couldn't believe that he was saying these words to me. So um, I just kind of took a step back. I called my mom and I was in tears. And um, I'm like, Mom, guess what he just said to me? She hung up on me instantly, and I, I believe she called him. You know, we had a good relationship. He treated me well. He, he's still there to this day, but I did take a step back from that, and I, I just feel some type of way. This is your mother, correct? Yes, sir. <laughs> your name is Letitia, right? Letitia, yes. nice to meet you. You as well. When she gave me the phone call, I was actually driving. Uh-huh. And I almost ran into a truck. Oh. Like, man, this man, almost 30 years, friends and then had a child, and this is how you do her, yeah. So, And when you, you got off the phone, you called him, what did he say? <laughs> a whole I know, lot. A I whole can see lot. how you <laughs> acting, I know you cussed his ass out, I can tell. <laughs> I can see it, I can see it. You looking like, I have to. I'm, I'm sorry, guys, but uh, yeah, he, he said he didn't say it, then he did say he did say it, and then yeah. we just went back and forth. But, yeah, and I know that uh, had to break your heart. And yeah, not only does, just for your daughter, it, but like you said, 30 years of a friendship yes. and for that to happen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, from someone else though. Not from you, from someone else telling you something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So no, that, that's, that's, that's not cool. It's not right. So I, I mean, I'm gonna have to ask, just because we are here mm -hmm. doing this and it's not that I doubt anyone, but is there any chance that there could be anyone else that is her father? Not a chance in hell. Okay then. Okay, <laughs> she said not now. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Letitia. I really appreciate that. What do you feel about what was said? I hate to say it, Shay, but you're not my daughter. I just don't believe you're my daughter, love. What? So, Dad, why you been here? Like, this, like I don't get it. Why you been here? I feel like you coming on this show to, like, no. make a fool out of us. You, you Absolutely clowning. not. I, I, you know, when I met, met your mom, I was a young man, and I was always taught to be a man. So, you know, when she said she was pregnant, 
I just stepped up and was a man, but I always had doubts. I have a half a dozen reasons on why, not just because of your complexion or how you look. You can stand for me. I got a half a dozen reasons. Darren, when I found out I was pregnant, I was 11 days. She looks days. nothing like me, though. 11 days. 11, 11 days. days. 11 days. If they'd have I told in the me Bahamas. anything three months or so, then I would have doubted it as well. I come Stop back from the Bahamas, me, I popped you Stop once. Stop playing. 11 and days. That said that I had no a baby. None, you know what I'm saying? None there. One time no. I so popped why, you. Why have you none. been here this whole time? Like, why wouldn't you been say you had doubts? You waited till I, I mean, was I mean, listen, through the years, I, I done told you little things to kind of give you what intuition, you, that, you know, just to get me. your own mind. I thought when you I was, was 23, you told me. Before that, well, you listen, haven't said you know, anything. That's because... And you've been there for me. Like, why be there for me? It's you've been not, there, it's not you've been there for my kids. You've been there for me since, since day one. Graduations, college, car. Like, why do all that? Hey, that's just part of it's a man's job. It's not about job. being a man. It's part of a man's job. Oh, I just came bull. here just to get the actual facts because, you I know. feel like you want so me to say something? Faking. Because if you know that this young woman, if Shay is your daughter that you raised, yeah. um, whether she's biological or not, Knowing you saying that you're not my daughter is going to hurt her, why not get the facts first before you start saying that? No. It's all I'm asking. Yeah. Because okay. for me, if I had doubts, yeah. I would get the facts first okay, so, before I would start hurting so, my daughter. So I've had over a dozen, potential daughter. dozen uh, DNA tests from all my children and different agencies, not just the state private. So you have other children that you find out later may not be yours? That's correct. Okay, then. Got it. That I know so, for a fact. So this you, is my only child that I don't have a DNA test on. That's, a, that's not true. That's, that's not true. true. There's two other ones. It's, it's a lot but of us. We all dark skin. There's three of us. You need to come on stage because you're part of the story too. Please come on here. I'm sorry. <laughs> you sit right in the middle. Yes. So the prosecutor was talking about there's never been a DNA. So yes. first of all, so second of all, I went to the child support and had child support dropped off of this man when his child was eight years old. The judge no. looked at me and said, it work was like I that. being threatened? The magistrate no, I'm not. doesn't He's work like that. They, they removed the child so, because, no. obviously, there's no. a discrepancy in the test. No, it, well, there was never there a test. There was no test. There was never yeah, a test. Clear, I don't know where it's coming from. Got it. Okay? Got it. She I said, you hurting me. This is hurting me. Listen, like, love, I ain't, trying to, I ain't never trying to hurt you. I but the facts need to come out. You need to know. I look at my grandbabies and I'll be like, damn. You may, well, I wish really you would have said that before we got on this show. Baby, don't, I really don't do. cry. Let's get the test. So my <sighs> producers told me that you recently came to a lot of money. Is that true? Man, my whole life I've been yes. I've been okay, but recently uh, one of my, my one of my parents passed away, and, and you came to a lot me, of money. Left, Do you feel like people come for a payday? Oh, for sure, everybody not got me, hand not out. us. Everybody we don't got their back. We ain't got nothing. We ain't got nothing. We ain't got nothing. Everybody got to get the back. Not not necessarily. We got but I'm saying we she's always had help. anything That's she ever wanted. She had it. She was 16. We buy a car. She want apartment. She she know anything she want. We've always taken care of that. I she didn't it. never need What I'm nothing. trying to do is I'm trying to figure out a, a, a I'm trying to get a direct line of distrust. Right. That's oh, happening. The distrust because of what what is what is what is confusing for me is being there for 23 years, Thank claiming you. that I'm going to, I'm your father, I'm your father. Okay. Thank and this you. is why I'm trying to track distrust, <laughs> because that helps me to understand where you are mentally and emotionally. Well, Karamba, I can tell you this. So so I recently I had some uh, things happen in my life. It drove me to the altar. To be judged, and okay. uh, when I when I sat before the altar, everyone came up uh, and, and was evaluated in my life. And uh, unfortunately, there was multiple. My children weren't biologically mine. If this is not your daughter, what would this mean to you? That's always my baby. I don't matter, you know. I, and, that and, makes uh, sense. So, know. will you still be in her life if this is not your daughter? Of course. Of course, if she want me in her life, she probably took it. gonna be over it after this little episode right here. Now, I'm gonna ask you this. If this is confirmed to be your biological daughter, mm -hmm. what does that mean to you now after the things you've said? Nothing. I mean, it's gonna be similar, similar feelings. I don't plan on uh, having a change of heart or nothing, you know? It is what it is. It's 27 years. Next, come this year, she'll be 27. And... How will you make amends if she is your daughter? You know, I'm gonna apologize to you now and tell you that I... I didn't mean for it to come to this, but it's just necessary. This is time. Shay, what's going on in your head right now? Oh, I'm just emotional. I'm just all over the place. Yeah. I, I can't believe him right now. This is your truth to open, not mine. Oh, you want me to open it? Yeah. Hurry up. Okay. You are not.
You clown! You are a clown, clown, clown! What did it say? What did it say? It says he is a biological father. A whole it says he is a biological father. A whole house! I told you! A whole house! I knew it. I hate to even act like this, y'all. I'm so sorry. You are a clown, though. For real. You can take off the suit now. Take it off. Take it off. You need a red hat. Real talk. 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 So it does say Darren is your biological father. Okay. So it is confirmed here that this mm -hmm. is your daughter. And I asked you both ways before what you're going to do. You're, the, the, this is your daughter that you've raised. And for the last three years, mm -hmm. you've been hurting. Even on this stage, she said to you several times, you're hurting me. You're hurting me. And I'm pregnant. I just feel like I'm under so much stress. It didn't even have to come this far there. You could have been. I was hurt too. Spoke on how you, you know, feel, but you, you an adult. All this I'm here. a child. Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't do this to my kids. You don't do that to your kids. You don't do that to your children. I'm sorry that I had doubt. You know, I always knew. But you can't that even you, explain you know, your doubt. All my family like, said, you know, that one's yours for sure, out of all the other ones. And so I always knew that. Some of the family only know her. I only know her. And it's a jealousy thing, too, I feel like, too, because they were in a relationship. He was like, I was the only child that had him in my life. Like, a lot of my siblings come to me and they be like, I'm the oldest. So they be like, you know, I'm, I'm jealous of you because dad was there for you, but he wasn't there for me. I used to feel bad for them, and I still do, but that wasn't my fault, you know? But I'm blamed for that in the family. Like, oh, it's like, oh, she, she thinks she better, or she, you know, it's not like that. I got love for all my siblings. I'm sorry. Everybody, man. but he just, I don't know. I, I guess I accepted it as he, he was going through some stuff, and so this is how he was dealing with it. No, I just want to tell you, I'm sorry, can I have a hug? I'm sorry, love. And I didn't mean to put you through this. I just, all, I just needed oh, validation in my life that, that you, you know, that it was a Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on the clock. I'm sorry, the love. Because Darren, unfortunately, that apology it, is not going to be enough. Mm -hmm. What you just did to your daughter is you've broken her in a yes, way that I, feel I, I need you to understand the ramifications of what you've done. And I, I'm not saying this in hopes of this not being rebuilt, because I believe your daughter will get to a place where she can rebuild with you. But I need you to understand the distrust and how what that has now caused in your life. What about this year? You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> always what about mom. It's always what about this. No, it's always what about I, I get what you're saying. But your daughter did not deserve what she has received in these past three years. And Thank she you. definitely did not deserve what she received on this stage for the past 35 minutes. Mm -hmm. And that's what I need to understand. That is just your action. That has nothing to do with Tish, that is you. And I need you to know that unless you really acknowledge how sorry you are and show action steps for that, you might lose your daughter. I'll do anything for her, she knows that. No, what do you need from your father to rebuild man. from here? A smile, man. I guess I just need him to be, I don't, I, like, supportive. Like, I don't, I haven't been feeling supported since that phone call. And I just, I don't know. I don't like to, I don't like the fact that he doubted me. I don't ever want to be doubted again. I didn't doubt you, I don't man. ever I want him her. to say, like, I'm not his child. Because those comments were still surfacing. Yeah. She yeah. said she needs support and she needs you to not disrespect her mother this way. And I know for you, you have your own personal feelings. I heard it with the minute you said, you started talking about y'all's relationship. Unfortunately, that shouldn't yeah. lead over to this. I'm not making any excuses. I, you. You're absolutely right, and I love you so much, and I'm, I'm sorry that it had to come to this, and I just didn't know what else to do. Or, I'm gonna tell you this, I am glad that you came to this show because at least I could give you these tools mm -hmm. so that you can go forward I appreciate so that this can be better. And I'm glad you got your answers. I'm sorry for what you've been through. I'm sorry for what you've been through. And I really do wish you all the best of luck. You got a good one here. Yeah. Do the work for her, all right? I was upset before I got these results, but he apologized. I'm gonna I'm I'm move forward. I, I feel good, honestly. Good. I feel No I more dietitian, I'm sorry. I, I ain't... Want more Unlocked Phones, DNA Reveals, and Family Drama? Then make sure you're subscribed to the Karamo Show YouTube.